My brother sent me the original article from The Guardian in 2008 which featured six transcripts of 999 calls which had been made all across the country. I think everybody um, lives with a shadow of this idea of how would they cope in an emergency and I remember being deeply struck when I read them, um, really moved, in fact it brings um, my hair's up on my neck thinking about it. One of the most striking stories is about a five-year-old boy calling up and trying to contend with his mum having an epileptic fit. And so it seemed to me that there was an interesting marriage between this text, which had so much power, and the sort of opening opportunities that dance can give you as an audience member. And I read them one after the other on the internet, the six transcripts. I was, was not sure how we were going to do it because they are brilliant. I felt a huge responsibility actually. I think that, that was a, a quite a conscious concern. When you're watching movement, all the answers aren't there for you. There's not a very, very clear narrative drive. And so it asks you, it demands of you as an audience to be imaginative, to interpret the movement for yourself, to come up with images yourself. So much about individuals but actually it's also about um, surviving as a community, surviving as a society and for me there's something hopeful about that. What's exciting about working on Breathing Irregular, what drew me to the project was that it, it contains within it moments in modern life particularly where we hit a crisis. I hope that the audience will connect to the transcripts um, and feel an emotional resonance with them in the way that I did when I first read them.